Alright, so we are right outside of Schaeferstown here. I'm not really sure what this is shaped just like the other historic markers, but it is different. This is put here by the Department of Transportation, so I'm not really sure what the difference is. Uh, so it isn't necessarily a historic marker. It is a historic marker, marker but it's not actually a um, marker. It is, uh, for Brenda Farms, also the Alexander Schaefer Homestead, which is right over there. Uh, I will put up some pictures and actually talk about the place a little bit more because you can't just go down and video there. Uh, and if you do take pictures and stuff like that, you got to pay a small fee. So at some point I'll wind up doing that, but I also want to contact them and find out exactly what uh, circumstances are and what's allowed and not. And maybe explain, this is a, a YouTube channel that we do history stuff and maybe I can even get a tour, just sort of like Fort Zeller. You just have to contact them and, and get a run through on that. Because I would also like, there's a Brendel Museum. I'd like to be able to go there and uh, talk to them as well and just see that. Because uh, I guess the Brendel families who, he was like, I think a son-in-law or something. It's something along those lines. But anyways, this is listed in the National Register of Historic Places. Brendel Farm is comprised of two farms. The upper farm belonged to Alexander Schaefer, founder of Schaeferstown, home to significant 18th and 19th century Pennsylvania architecture and the first chartered water company in the U.S. Uh, the lower farm is the birthplace to the Reverend Thomas Royce Brendel, the dean of Pennsylvania German folklorist. Some of his writings can be found at the Brendel Museum in Schaeferstown. And some of these haunted tales and just some of the folklore stuff, that's actually the one book I have. He's sort of sort of documented those stories. But uh, the two farms are really pretty, pretty uh, place. I know they have a couple different uh, unique festivals here at the farm uh, in the homestead there. I think one's like an apple festival, but they're really cool. A lot of like folklore. And I've said before, there's a really cool place here called the Tweed Weasel, which when you come up here up to the light, uh, this is 501 that we're right next to, you make a right, it's right down there. It's in a really cool sort of historic building, but they have a lot of like folk, folk art and that type of stuff. But uh, a lot of German uh, folklore and things of that nature that uh, exist out in this area and Thomas Brendel was one of those people that really documented that. So with that, I'm going to add on to this video. Sorry for that. That seems to be horrible for me. It's like helicopters, trains, alien spacecraft seem to come around whenever I do a video next to the road. So, alright, thanks everybody and we will see you guys later in this video. The uh, Brendel Farms is actually a collection of two farms. Uh, the first and the older farm is the Alexander Schaefer farm. He is the founder of Schaeferstown. The uh, first house there is the Alexander Schaefer House, which is on the National Registry of Historic Places. It was built around 1736 and then enlarged in 1771. <coughs> it's known as an 18th century colonial German style wine burren house, which is translated from German as a winemaker's house. It was sort of traditional where they had a business and a home on the same property. There are actually quite a few different barns and other historic buildings that were added over time and eventually when Alexander Schaefer or his children sold the farm and went to a pastor, Brendel, uh, his son Thomas Brendel is actually quite famous for trying to preserve German folklore. And actually a bunch of those haunted history stories that I got are from a book that Lebanon County Historical Society has made and he was one of the primary authors. <coughs> I think the entire property is about 327 acres. Uh, it's also well known. Uh, the historic Schaeferstown Incorporated has the Brendel Museum, which is, I believe it's Market Street. I might be wrong on that. And they had the Gemberling Rex House, which was the first tavern that was there in town. And they actually hold three different festivals that I'm aware of. The one's the, the annual Cherry Festival. Then they have a folklore or old, like, folksy art type festival and they also have the Christ Kindle Market which is like a fall Christmas festival. It's a really really cool place. I will put up the website for it. A lot of history here. Beautiful beautiful farm. Uh, beautiful homestead. The buildings are extraordinary and uh, 
we'll hopefully be able to take you there sometime and we'll see you all about town.